Hi guys, Karen here. Welcome to part three of my Jigsaw Puzzle Collection video series. I think these very well might be the nerdiest videos I've ever made, which honestly is saying a lot because I have made a lot of very nerdy content. But anyway, if you missed parts one and two, part one was all of the puzzles I have in my apartment in LA. Part two was all of the puzzles that I have that are over a thousand pieces. And then this is part three, which is all of the puzzles I have here at my parents' house that are exactly 1,000 pieces. Seems like a 1,000 pieces is kind of the magic number for puzzles. Like that's kind of the standard, so I've got quite a lot of them. Also, I'm sorry if the lighting is all weird in this video. Um, obviously, since I'm traveling, I couldn't bring my lights, so I just have a window there and there are a lot of clouds. So I keep getting like really nice sunlight and then just no light at all, like right now. But anyway, let's jump into the puzzles. Okay, this first one is actually like very special to me. It might be one of my favorite puzzles of all time. It's not even really anything special. It's just this nice farm scene. But I have just, I've done this puzzle so many times. I couldn't even count, probably at least 10 times. It's just so lovely and the colors are so nice and I love the illustration style. And also, if I just wanna do a really like quick puzzle, this is a great one for that because since the colors are so distinct and since I know the picture so well, it only takes me a couple hours to do. Oh, and this is by Bits and Pieces. You know, they followed me on Instagram. Um, if you don't know, Bits and Pieces is a catalog and now a website, I guess, where you can just buy tons of puzzles. They followed me on Instagram and they follow like three people. And so I feel very special about that. All right, next I've got a couple more Ravensburger puzzles. If you watched my last video, you know that Ravensburger is one of my favorite puzzle brands ever. It's just so high quality. And yeah, this one is kind of a, it's like a Valentine's Day themed bakery. And I just love the colors in this. I love anything pink, anything saturated. There are so many interesting textures going on that this one is just super fun. And this one I got pretty recently, just at um, Christmas, either like last year or the year before. Um, so I've only done this one probably like once or twice, but it's really, really fun. Same thing with this one. This one is called The Craft Cupboard. So obviously that is right up my alley. And I love puzzles like this with so many colors and different textures, like so much happening in every single inch of the puzzle. because so you don't end up with just giant swaths of sky or you're sitting there doing just a solid color forever. This one, there's like, there's always something interesting going on, any part of the puzzle that you're working on. And then this one is very similar to that one. This one is the Christmas cupboard. Since I do a lot of my jigsaw puzzling over Christmas now, since that's kind of the only time of the year when I have a few days where I can just sit down and do nothing but puzzles and I have no other responsibilities, um, I like to ask for puzzles for Christmas and then get some Christmas themed puzzles. And so this one is just another like cupboard illustration and everything is Christmas themed. And I'm so excited for Christmas again this year. I'm gonna do so many puzzles. Now this one is interesting. I think this one actually was given to my sister and she would never let me touch any of her stuff. So for a long time, this one just sat there and I wasn't allowed to do it. But now that we're adults and also now that neither of us live here anymore, um, I think I'm allowed to do this puzzle. But this one is just flags of the world. Pretty straightforward. I think I've done it a couple times now. Up oh, here we've got another Christmas one. And this one's really fun because it is a Christmas market but there's a little challenge on the box. It says, can you find items, or can you find 10 items for every letter of the alphabet? So there's so much in this illustration that you can literally be like, what starts with A? Oh, there's an atlas, there's an album, there's you know a, an arc, a million other things that start with A, and you can find 10 things for every letter of the alphabet in this picture. So when I was younger, that was a, that was super fun. <laughs> and this one is also made by Bits and Pieces. Um, a lot of these, unfortunately, I won't be able to link to where you can get them because they're so old 
this one, oh, this one was made in 2001, which is quite a while ago now, so I kind of doubt you can still buy all of them, but I'll find as many of them as I can to link down below. Huh, this is one that I don't, have I ever done this one? Oh my god, this one is still sealed. I've never done this puzzle. It's just in my like pile of puzzles and I've never done it. I was looking at the picture and I was like, I've done a lot of cat puzzles, but this one just does not look familiar. So I guess I have a new puzzle to do one of these days. All right, now I've got a bunch of them that are in these kind of smaller boxes. And this one is pretty standard. It's just hot air balloons, which is kind of the typical puzzle picture. I actually don't think I've done a puzzle that's a photograph in quite a while. These days I much prefer um, puzzles that are like illustrations just because I feel like there's more going on and you don't have these giant swaths of um, solid color. But yeah, hot air balloons, pretty standard. So speaking of illustrations, I have so many of these hometown collection puzzles from Rose Art. I did not know that Rose Art <laughs> made puzzles, but okay. So this one is done by the artist Her Heronim? Heronim? This guy, he, he looks cool. <laughs> but anyway, he painted a bunch of these um, puzzles like this with this really nice illustration style and I was super into these when I was in uh, high school. I have, let me just show them. So I have this really nice like cherry blossom purple one and then there's this one which is kind of a sailboat dock scene. Oh no, there's literally only two sailboats in there. Just, you know, boats, canoes and stuff. And then there's this one which is um, like a snowy town scene. That one, I don't like the colors in this one quite as much, but I still really like the illustration style. And then finally, I have this one, which I love these colors. It's so bright and happy. It's kind of this hilly scene with all the different buildings and it's really pretty. And actually, let me go back to this one. I think this one was the first time I ever did a 1000 piece puzzle all in one day. I would have been like 11 or 12 up at my uh, grandmother's house where we would go for vacation over the summer and I just had a free day there. And so I sat down and I decided to see how long it would take me to do a 1000 piece puzzle. And it took about eight hours straight. And that was the first time I ever did it all in one day. Next we have this one, which is pretty similar to those I just showed, but this one was done by the artist Charles Wysoski. And it's just a snowy kind of ice skating scene. And then this one is super fun. It Hmm, that's weird. I think they printed they printed the picture upside down. I don't think I ever noticed that before. So the puzzle goes like that, but then the logo and everything are upside down. But anyway, <laughs> this one is just a bunch of stamps. And this was one of my first introductions to those types of puzzles where it's not just a photograph, where it's an illustration of so much happening in every single corner of the puzzle, which is my favorite type of puzzle. So I remember doing this one a bunch growing up and I really like it. All right, here I have another Christmas puzzle. This one is made by uh, Buffalo Puzzles, which um, again, I had I have some of their other ones that I can just that I just bought on Amazon. This one is also by the painter Charles Wysoski, who's the same guy that did these. I guess he licenses out his paintings to a lot of different puzzle companies. But anyway, I think I've only done this one a, like maybe twice. Um, I don't think I've had it for a long time. I think it's fairly new. And then finally, of course, I had to have one. It's a Harry Potter puzzle. I got this as a gift from one of my friends um, a little while ago, and I only actually did it once because as much as I love the Marauder's Map design, it's kind of annoying to do in a puzzle. Obviously, there's only two colors going on, and so all of this stuff where you don't have any writing or any texture, you just have to sit there and just try piece after piece to fill it in. So I enjoy having this, but since I have so many other puzzles that I love, more than this one, I kinda don't think I'm gonna do it again. All right, so those were all of my 1,000 piece puzzles. That's not entirely true. So when I was gathering all of these and like organizing them for the different videos, 
Um, I have all of my favorite puzzles, the ones that I've been showing, just stacked up in my room. But then I went into the closet because I was looking specifically for the 5,000 piece one that I couldn't find in the last video. And I found just boxes and boxes of more puzzles. I think they're the ones that a while back, like years and years ago, I told my mom I didn't want anymore because they weren't puzzles that I really liked. And I thought she had donated them. Turns out they're just still in boxes in the closet. So if you think this is a lot of puzzles, like, trust me, there are more. But all the ones in there are just really like boring photos that I don't really like to do and I haven't done in a very long time, so I'm just not even gonna bother with those. I don't I don't consider them part of the main collection, which is so nerdy to have a main collection of puzzles. So if you liked this video and you haven't seen part two or part one, I'm gonna link them right down below and make sure you stay tuned for part four, which is all of my puzzles that are under a thousand pieces. There are actually some really interesting, like playful things that the puzzle makers have done in some of those. So don't think they're all super easy because there, there are some weird ones over there. So I would love to know in a comment if you ever do puzzles, uh, tell me about your favorite puzzle. Please make sure to like this video if you liked it and subscribe so that obviously you can get part four and then also just to see my DIY videos that I also make, which is what this channel is supposed to be about until I decided to make a million videos about jigsaw puzzles. But you know, this is YouTube, anything goes. So I'll see you guys next time.